Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can make use of Burp Suite to perform simple brute force attacks on websites and web application. Burp Suite is a powerful tool if you are a penetration tester, an ethical archer. It's important for you to have Burp Suite in your arsenal because it can help you do so many things because it has so many features. And I won't be covering all the features in this video. I'm only going to be focusing on the brute force aspect of verb suite if you really want to find out more about verb suite tools and features you could um, visit the official website and with that i'm just going to go straight into the video now i already have verb suite set up here and um, i have my dvwa web application set up as well i know that the dvwa is a vulnerable web app and you might be doubting if it might work for a live website but yes the procedure is still the same thing uh it's still going to work for a live website i'm using the dvwa because i do not have authorization to use a live website and you shouldn't as well if you do not have authorization because you might get into trouble so um either way it's going to work for a live website if you follow this procedure as well so the first thing i will have to show you is that i have my dvwa set up here you can see the interface here and i'm making use of the chromium that comes with um, burp suite i really like using the embedded browser because it makes things sort of easier for me because it takes off the pressure of having to configure the browser manually and all that so you can do that manually if you want but i would always recommend you just use the chromium embedded browser so first of all we're going to have to turn the intercept on if we want to you know get data from this and um right here we're going to click on the username field or the password field and we're going to enter a random username and password right just so we could get the data from the post request right um and i'm just enter anything here mike and mikey so i'm going to log in and i get redirected to burp suite right here and we can see we have the mic here and we have the mikey password and what i want to do now is to send this to the intruder and um i think it's worth mentioning that um, the dvwa has a default username and password which is admin and i'm going to be making use of that because of course i don't want to enlocate this if you're going to be using a live website you might have to do a lot of digging uh because um you know you might have to get the username and probably brute force the password field or you might find a password and try to brute force the username either way what i'm trying to say is it takes a lot of you know effort because you're going to be using reconnaissance information gathering and so on and so forth but in this video we're going to be making use of brute forcing the username and password field and that's just because we already know the username and password is admin and admin so it's going to be easier this way but when you're using the live website it might be a little too daunting but you can always get it done all right so back to burp street um now that we've sent it to the intruder we have to click on the position step and you can see that Borpsit has manually selected this for us because it thinks that we might want to manipulate this field but that's not what we want so i'm just going to go ahead and clear this and i'm going to manually select the fields i want which is the username field and um the password field because these are the two fields we want to put first right Okay, so the attack type, we're not using Sniper, we're using Cluster Bomb because Cluster Bomb allows us to brute force two multiple fields, two or more multiple, multiple fields at once. So um, we're going to use Cluster Bomb for that. And now to the payloads, um, we're going to set the first payload. You could use the default payload that comes with Kali. Um, I don't want to have to create a payload because that might take quite some time. So I'm just going to create a random. Um, Payload, let's just say Mike. Okay, for that's for the first payload, which is the username field. 
So we're going to create another payload, which is for the password field. Okay, now that we're done setting the payloads, I think that's basically all we have to do for this, right? Um, okay, so we're going to click on the start attack. Uh, because this is a... Uh, this is like a really small payload, so it's gonna take just a few minutes to get it done. If you're using a real life website, you might have payloads that range from like a thousand to two thousand or more, so it might take quite some time to get it done. So we have this payload one and payload two, and we can see it's trying to match those fields together to see the correct username and the password. And now we have the finished here. So um, what I'm going to do right now is just randomly select one. Um, this show the response in the browser. I'm going to copy this and come over to Chromium. I'm going to paste this here. Okay, I have to turn off the intercept so we can get data All right so okay so we see that um, we have this bunch of login field stuff here but right here we have you have logged in as admin here so let's see what position it is we have the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let's go back to prep suite and see where we can find that okay so we have here right here okay and um you're going to share response in the browser just like we did for the previous one and um this is best and you can see we get redirected to the login page of the dvwa and that is basically how you do a brute force attack using burp suite like i said there's so many things you can use burp suite for this is just like a basic part of it a simple brute force attack if you want to learn more you could always visit their um official website or you could you know just browse around the internet do some tutorials do some homeworks and um get yourself familiarized with burp suite